Hello, everyone. My name is Wei Qiang Liu, and I would like to present our research on QCA systolic array design. This research has been conducted by Dr. Lu, Dr. Liu, and Professor O'Neill from Queen's University, Belfast, in collaboration with Professor Schwarzlander from the University of Texas at Austin. QC is a potential alternative to CMOS technology using the positions of electrons to perform logical computations. QC cells can be viewed as a square nanostructure with four quantum dots. The two ground states of a QC cell can be used to represent binary 0 and binary 1. QC cells can be used to form inverters and moderate gates which are the two basic components need, needed to build QCE digital circuits. QCE could provide fast speed, high density, and low power dissipation. Therefore, it is very attractive for future digital circuits design. There are four phases in each clock zone in QCE. Actual information transitions occur during the switch phase. A clocked QCE wire can be treated as a chain of delights. The use of different clocking zones increases the reliability of QC circuits. However, this leads to a significant increase in latency. Therefore, a major challenge in QC design is called layout equals timing, which means that timing rules are as important as layout rules in QC, which is different from CMOS technology. Due to the inherent wire delay in QC pipeline architectures, are an attractive design technique. Also because of its pipeline nature, it is not suitable for complex control systems. Systolic arrays take advantage of pipelining, parallelism, local interconnection, and simple control. Therefore, it is very attractive for QC circuit design. Two design cases are studied in this work. The first case is a matrix multiplier. The algorithm can be easily mapped to a systolic array architecture, which comprises a matrix of processing elements. Input data are pumped into this array and passed across it. Various matrix size and word size have been designed and simulated using both multi-layer and coplanar designs. A comparison between QC and CMOS designs shows that QC technology benefits much more from employing systolic array architectures than CMOS technology. The second design case is a GAWA field multiplier. The data flow graph of the GAWA field multiplier is mapped from its equivalent CMOS architecture. However, a direct mapping is impossible due to the timing rules. Therefore, a QC cast every time design is proposed to solve the timing issues. The retiming technique is used to change the delay elements in a circuit without affecting the functionality of the circuit. A 4-bit GAWA field multiplier is designed by CASA retiming step by step. Delays are added and transferred among the edges. After the 6 cards, the final retimed architecture is available for QC layouts. Single processor GAWA field multiplier are also designed. Various word size are designed and compared with their CMOS counterparts. The comparison results show that systolic arrays can be used to greatly reduce control logic in QCE. Based on the two case studies discussed above, a general QCE systolic array design methodology has been developed. The first step is algorithm analysis. The target algorithm is analyzed to ensure that it has a data flow that can be pipelined. The second step is logic design. The algorithm is transformed to optimize the majority gate-based logic. The third step is timing analysis. Any timing issues can be solved using cancel timing. The fourth step is layout. The layout is mapped from the retimed architecture. And the final step is verification. In summary, we show that systolic array can minimize the effect of the inherent QC wire delay. QC systolic array design significantly reduces control logic, and cell timing is a very useful design technique. This research work will lead the way for the design of more complex QC circuits, allowing researchers to develop new design methodologies and demonstrate the full potential of QCE nanotechnology.